My name is Larry Johnson, 122 Sherbrooke Way, Griffin, Georgia. I too did not come prepared to speak tonight, but what the heck, looks like it's a good thing to do, baby. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> when I get through, we're still going to be friends, if we were friends to start with, because I'm not going to change. Neither am I, sir. You've already changed, Rodney. No, I, yeah, you have. You got better, son. Oh, thank you. I thought you'd like that. I, I do like that. Thank <laughs> you. See, I remember Rodney serving with the board on you a long time ago. And you're talking about saluting the flag or pledging allegiance to the flag. You remember when you would not I, pledge allegiance to the American flag? I do recall. You remember you and I went out into the when you wouldn't salute the flag. I brought my I started wearing my Confederate belt buckle. You remember? I don't think that's the way it happened, but well, I think I, so. There, there was there was a time. But that you I, and I went out there. and I was gonna say we stood toe to toe and head to head, but ain't no way we stood head to head, true. son. All right. We just stand toe to toe. Okay. And we talked, and I told you where I came from, uh -huh. and we had an understanding, mm -hmm. and you understood me much better after that. And we served together pretty good after we that. We did. I told you at that time that they were white folks. Mm -hmm. They were black folks when I was growing up. Okay. They were white trash, my family, mm -hmm. and they were <laughs> town. I live in that <laughs> town. You live in that what town? <laughs> town, son, I'm telling you. Now that I've changed. I'm no longer white trash, and they're no longer hold, hold called on, that. Hold now, on, wait a minute. Hold on one second. They, Mr. McCord, let him have his minute, now, let please. Me Mr. McCord, please. What did, now, what did he just... Now, if that's offensive, I, I apologize you, for being it, offensive, but I told Ms. you that. Mr. McCord, now, please. Let me just go ahead and I'm say something. You said something about the flag. I didn't say you were offensive. <laughs> you said something about the flag. I'm not going to sit here, Mr. Okay. Corey. And now may, maybe y'all are comfortable with that. Now I, I don't. I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and let this man use that type of language. And if if nobody else is offended, then I am. Now if y'all think uh, if if y'all want to clap and think that that's okay for this gentleman to stand. In 2018, and get here at the Board of City Commission meeting, 2018, the Civil War is over, and he is using the N word not once, not twice, three times, and he just continues to say it Mr. with not word about it, who it offends. What's going on, YouTube folks out there, Facebook friends? My name is Ottomir, and this is the Hard Black Truth. And this story completely boggles my mind. And there's so much that I could say about the N-word being used, but I think the bigger story is that you have a town in Georgia that has declared April Confederate Month. So now you're going to have these these racist white supremacists running around celebrating the confederacy under the guise that this was about heritage and not hate and the war wasn't fought over slavery and at the end of the day you can all kiss an ass if that is what you believe because I have read enough about history that I've come across a little something that's called the cornerstone speech. And I've put up segments of that speech, at least the relevant ones in past videos. You may be seeing that scroll across your screen as I speak. And that speech was delivered by none other than the vice president of the confederacy so all these fools that are walking around talking about it's about heritage and it wasn't about slavery and the war wasn't fought over slavery and even in the article that i may have uh uh, uh shown in, in the in the description they're talking about how historians disagree this 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 shouldn't be something that is up for debate in this day and age. Yeah, I'm, I'm pissed off that that man said nigger. And I'm going to get to that. But this shouldn't be up for debate. In 2018. Where any town. 
with black residents could sit here and declare such an offensive theme for any month of any part of the year. Enough is enough. And it's like we're going backwards. And we're allowing these folks to live in this fairy tale fantasy ass dream where they could sit there and tell you that what they're celebrating is their heritage. And they could sit there and convince the children that it's about their heritage. But these white supremacists are on code. They teach their children how to hate. They teach their children how to do for their own and how to leave everyone else behind. They teach their children how to look at black people as lesser than. And they've become so sophisticated with it that they have convinced themselves as well as others that Confederate month is something that should be honored. And what pisses me off is that this is able to take place. Now, I understand Georgia is, 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 a, is a big state. It's a very large swath of land here on planet Earth. You understand what I'm saying? Georgia doesn't mean solely Atlanta. But there were black people in that town. There are black people living in that town right now. Who every month, well, every year in the month of April are going to be reminded just what their place is. They're going to be reminded just how shitty their lives are, even if they're well off. Imagine that being a well off nigger. Because that's exactly what doing stuff like that brings about is no mistake. And I have to give shout outs to Jason Black who had to go under the tag name Jim Brown to give us this story. Because Facebook is out there flagging everybody. YouTube isn't monetizing anybody. I, I don't even have channel growth. I go to, I go to anybody's uh, 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 public daggone Wi-Fi. My videos are restricted. The only people that share my videos are the people that share my videos. And it's very few. It makes no sense that I'm putting out content on a weekly basis and I've barely grown, I've barely grown 25% since I've started doing this again. Now that's fine. It's okay because this has always been just a, a means for me to kind of rant and, and I'm pretty good at articulating what the hell it is I got to say and people find my videos informative, amusing at times, a little bit of both maybe. But at the end of the day, I'm saying things that they have said to themselves and have discussed with others. And I validate many folks that listen to what it is I say. So in that regard, I thank you. But you too. Anyway, I, I'm not even going to get on that. We, we I, I ain't even trying to get flag for anything. YouTube, I ain't going to go to your uh, headquarters and shoot you up. That's not what's finna take place. But it's sad that we're out here having to conjure up different names to disseminate information to our people because this shit is real. This happened. And I'm not talking about the fact that a former con this guy was, uh, was a former elected official. Do you understand that people elected this man? who carried this mentality, who has no problem going around using that word. If he, if he felt comfortable enough to sit up in that board meeting and stand up at the podium and talk about nigger town, <clears throat> I don't know what the hell kind of point he was trying to make, but he felt comfortable enough to say that. He felt comfortable enough to sit there and say, I'm white, my, my, my neck is red, and I was, I was born in a southern bed, whatever. Whatever the hell that means, I don't give a goddamn. I really don't. I don't care. I'm tired of the bullshit is what I am. You see here trying to convince everyone that it's about your heritage. And I've come across several folk. I've come across young ladies, young men. These children are growing up 
being told to get on cold, being told that it's about heritage and not hate. I've seen folks, when, when they started cracking down on the idea of, of putting up these Confederate monuments, a lot of folks double down by making sure to wear their Confederate flag. And you know what? For some of those folks, it, it, it may be heritage because you grew up in a time where your granddaddy walked around with that flag. You, you grew up in a time where everyone in your, in your neighborhood waved that flag. And as long as you can remember, that flag for you might have stood for redneck. But understand that it's a new age and we're calling you out on the bullshit. And I don't give a damn if you mean well or not. That flag is and always has been racist. It stands for your racism. And the fact that you would sit here and have the, the gall to try to convince me otherwise... It's proof of that damn racism. I know better. People know better. I don't, I'm not, I'm no historian, nor do I have to be. You have, when you have someone who is the vice president of an organization known as the Confederacy, and they tell you that the cornerstone of their confederate fuck movement is that these white folks recognize that black men are not equal and that they are here purely to serve in subjugation to the benefit of the white man. There's nothing else you can tell me. Fuck your heritage. If you are too weak-minded or weak-willed to acknowledge that fact, then fuck you and fuck your heritage. And this man had no problem standing up there and using that word, not once, not twice, three times, and was called out by... Now, now, now the article says that there were two black people in that room, but only one! Only one chose to speak. That means that there's that you have a 50% chance now down there in that town that somebody's going to allow a white man to just say nigga without being questioned. That is not. Those aren't good statistics, ladies and gentlemen. You mean to tell me I have a 50-50 chance of someone actually defending our honor, our pride to be treated as human beings. I don't give a damn if that man was trying to make a point. And, and the sad part is you had someone sitting there trying to tell the council member, the black man on the board who's questioning this dude, like, what the hell's wrong with you? They're trying to tell him to let him get his 15 minutes. Fuck no. Nah. Now, in the article, it goes on to say that another person got up and made the point to say that, you know, if I started every sentence with the word fuck, basically, in so many words, she said that y'all would get offended. How is it that this man could come up here and say that and nobody checks him? You have to wait for the black man to do it. And then he comes off as angry because you got another person talking about let him get his 15 minutes. You got to be fucking kidding me. And this lets you know, ladies and gentlemen, that the shit is getting hotter. We just got over a winter. We're going to have another hot summer. This isn't going away. Trump is still here. And the sad part is he's done enough to where he's not, a, he's not really raising eyebrows anymore. So guess what? He's going to have to rev it up because that's what he's going to have to do. Not because we want him to do it. Black folks aren't sitting here wishing that Trump does some more racist shit. He's going to do it because that's who he is. That is his persona. He's not going to get better. He's only going to get worse. And he's going to further embolden these motherfuckers to do even more shit. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, we are going backwards. This is why it's important that you own and control your own 
Now, I may not have much, but God damn it, it's mine. And I teach my children that, you know, the, the lifestyle of owning shit that you can't pass on, you need to get rid of that. It's about ownership and control of resources. It always has been. It always will be. And the sooner that black people can get that through their heads and start focusing on making sure that that is their objective in life, we are not going to be able to compete. We're not going to be able to compete. That man ain't have a problem saying what he had to say because... We're not competing against him. And we damn sure don't have a means to punish him. We surely don't. He sat there and started off with his story about how he stood toe to toe with this man because he didn't want to salute the flag. So he going to put on his Confederate belt and he stood toe to toe. Do you understand that that's exactly how they feel? Should nobody feel as though they could stand toe to toe with a black man? Nobody should feel like they should stand or be able to stand toe to toe with a black man. We show you time and time again. The sports out there prove it. You can't see us physically when we're on an even playing field. We need to get our minds right. We need to get our minds right. Anyway, those are my thoughts. You guys let me know how you feel about everything. Long y'all want. <laughs>